You are about to learn from Oney Tech Space. This copy of Microsoft Office is not activated and I am having this error when I open the Office apps. This is how I fixed it. Before I continue, it's important you know the method shown in this video only shows my personal experience. Hence, this video is for information purposes only. Viewers are with this, warned against unauthorized activation. I encourage viewers to get all software through legitimate sources, and Microsoft Office should be activated according to Microsoft's end-user license agreement. Now for this method to work, the computer must be connected to the Internet. Also, Office should be on either a Microsoft Office subscription or a valid product key. First, I make sure I don't open any Microsoft Office apps. I closed all the apps that were opened. Then, I start, I go to my window start button and type search CMD. On the command prompt, I right mouse click on it and run as administrator. It is faster just on the right hand display here to click run as administrator. Type the first command CD backslash and press the enter key. Then I leave the command prompt and go to open file explorer. In the File Explorer, I go to This PC and open the disk where my Microsoft Office is installed. It is usually in Disk C for many people. I go to Program Files. In Program Files, I need to be careful because there are many Microsoft folders here. The one I need is the Microsoft Office folder. Inside Microsoft Office, I click to open Office 16 folder. Now this is where I'm going. I go up in the address bar. Right mouse click anywhere and copy the address as text. Now I may close File Explorer. I go back to the command prompt box that I opened before. Then I continue with the command text, CD space, and paste the address that I copied. I hit the Enter key. I could see that I am in the correct directory for Office 16. So, I proceed with the next command text, cs script space ospp.vba space forward slash d status. I press the enter key. In a situation where dot vba does not work, I can just change dot vba to dot vbs and continue with the instructions here. I can see all my details, my product ID and my license details for this Microsoft Office. Now I proceed to the next command. OSPPREAM.EXE space. Then I go to SKUID and copy my SKUID. Then come down here and paste the SKUID that I just copied. Oops, I forgot to put space here after .exe before pasting the SKUID. Now I put the space after EXE. Then the SKUID comes after the space. I press Enter key and boom. The response says it is successful. I go to open any of the Microsoft Office apps and I can see the issue has been fixed.